In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for MgCl2 plus KOH. This is magnesium chloride plus potassium hydroxide. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. I can see that I have this OH here, the hydroxide group, and then I have two of them over here. I'm going to put a 2 in front of the KOH. That balances the hydroxides to potassiums. Let's put a 2 here. Those are balanced. And we have two chlorine atoms. We have two here, magnesium, magnesium. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. Chlorides are very soluble, AQ. Potassium hydroxide, strong base. That's going to be a soluble. It's going to dissociate into its ions. Magnesium hydroxide. Most hydroxides aren't soluble. Sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, they're soluble, but most of them aren't. This is going to be insoluble. So it's not going to dissolve. That means it's going to be a solid. Very little bit will dissolve. So we're going to say this is a solid because almost all of it falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. Chlorides and potassium compounds are very soluble. That'll be aqueous. We have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. Magnesium is in group 2 on the periodic table. It's going to be 2 plus the chloride ion, 1 minus. So we have the magnesium ion, Mg2 plus. I'll write the states later. 2 chloride ions. Then for potassium, that's in group 1, has a 1 plus charge. And then the hydroxide, the whole thing is 1 minus. 2 potassium ions. And then we have 2 hydroxide ions. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. In the products, since this is considered a solid, we're not going to split that apart. We just keep that together. So we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. We have a plus and a minus. So two potassium ions, like in the reactants, and two chloride ions, also like the reactants. This is the complete or total ionic equation. At this point, we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of that complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not interested in them. So in the reactants, I see there are two chloride ions right here. And in the products, get rid of those two potassium ions here in the reactants. In the products, we have two potassium ions. Cross those out. What's left? That's the net ionic equation for MgCl2 plus KOH. I'll clean this up, add the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for this magnesium chloride plus potassium hydroxide. You'll note that charge is conserved. I have a 2 plus, then I have this 2 times 1 minus. So that gives me a net charge of 0 here. This is a neutral compound, net charge of 0 on the product side. And if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for MgCl2 plus KOH. Thanks for watching.